Hi guys, welcome back to YouTube channel Chemistry Live UGPG. Today we are going to talk about chemistry of halogenated hydrocarbon CC6 Unit 1 Lecture 1. So this will be highly beneficial for BSc Chemist students under CBCS syllabus. Please think for innovation, be creative, learn everywhere, anytime and help to learn others. So today we are going to talk about alkyl halides and methods of preparation. So now question arises why we do we study alkyl halides or aryl halides? Because they are mostly used as fire retardants, mostly used in medicines, making antibiotics and also for making plastics. So this is the general formula of alkyl halides Rx. So where R is alkyl, substituted alkyl or cycloalkyl. X is halogen atom, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So this RH is generally known as hydrocarbon. So when we substitute this hydrogen by a halogen atom X, so that becomes RX, so this becomes alkyl halide. So if we take some example, CH3Cl, that is methyl chloride. CH2Cl2, methylene chloride or dichloromethane. CSCL3 chloroform or trichloromethane. Similarly, CS3CS2Br. So, this is known as ethyl bromide or bromoethane. Similarly, Br, CS2, CS2Br. So, that is 1 to dibromoethane or that is known as vicinal halide, vis halide. Similarly, CS3CHCl2. So, that is known as 1 1 dichloromethane or we call it gem halide. Similarly, CCl4 that is carbon tetrachloride or tetrachloromethane. Similarly, this one C6H5CH2Cl that is benzyl chloride or we can say aryl alkyl halide. This one CH2 double bond CHCl that is vinyl chloride or chloroethene. Similarly, CH2 double bond CH hyphen CH2Cl that is allyl chloride or 3 chloro 1 propene. So let's talk about the classification of alkyl halides. So first is primary halide. So the structure is CH3CH2Br or CH2 double bond CH hyphen CH2Br. So that means to this halogen atom which is attached to the carbon, it must contain two hydrogens. Then it becomes primary halide. Then secondary halide CH3CH3Br. So to this halogen atom which is attached to the carbon, it must contain at least one hydrogen. Then it becomes secondary halide. Similarly, tertiary halide, CH3, 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 CBr. So that means the halogen atom attached to the carbon does not contain any hydrogen. Next is methods of preparation. So we can prepare alkyl halide from alcohols. So ROH react with HCl. In presence of anhydrous zinc chloride, it becomes a, it gives a Rx, alkyl halide. So here is the mechanism. So ROH, so oxygen lone pair can attack as nucleophile to ZnCl2. So it becomes ROH plus ZnCl2 minus. So now this RO bond can break on O plus. So as a result, you generate carbocation R plus plus HO ZnCl2 minus. Then what happens? R plus takes this Cl minus from HCl because this is a ionic compound. So it becomes RCl plus H plus. And again OH of OH of this compound that we have generated here, uh, the lone pair of oxygen attack to H plus as a, a nucleophile. So H plus here electrophile. So it becomes OH2 plus and this bond ZNO bond will break on O plus. So giving rise to water and ZnCl2. Next is a preparation from alcohol by reacting with allo acids. So ROH react with HX giving rise to RX plus water. So it follows SN1 mechanism. So ROH oxygen lone pair will attack to H plus. So it becomes OH2 plus ROH2 plus plus X minus. And here uh, this RO bond will break on O plus. So it becomes R plus plus water. Then R plus plus X minus can combine to give rise to Rx. 
so all alcohol except methanol and most primary alcohol can undergo uh, this type of reaction the next is sn2 mechanism so when you have a free halide so that ix minus can attack from back side to the r so you can have a transition state like this and as long as rx bond keeps on forming so roh2 bond will start breaking so as a result we get rx plus water so this is followed by uh, mostly the primary alcohols the next is uh, we can prepare alkyl halide by reacting roh with pbr3 so we can get here three equivalent of rbr plus s3 po3 so here it should be rbr so roh react uh, with pbr3 so oxygen lone pair will attack to phosphorus and it will kick out br as br minus so br minus will take this proton here and this oh bond will break on o plus so you can get this ro pbr2 compound then this rea this com complex or this molecule will again react with another two equivalent of pbr3 so finally you end up with this compound so then this compound again react with hbr so this phosphorus lone pair will attack to hydrogen and this hbr bond will break on bromine so you end up with this complex so this br minus again attack to r and this bond will move here so as a result you get rbr plus this compound similarly uh, this compound again react with hbr so oxygen lone pair can attack to hydrogen and this hbr bond will break on br so you will end up with uh, this protonated uh, compound so uh, again this br minus will attack to this r and this bond will move here so as a result you again get rbr plus this compound again this molecule again react with hbr so you end up with this protonated species and again br minus will attack to r and this bond will move here so as a result you end up with rbr plus s3po3 phosphorus acid similarly alcohol can react with thionyl chloride in presence of pyridine giving rise to rcl plus so2 sulfur dioxide plus hcl so here the inversion of configuration of the alkyl halide takes place and it follows sn2 mechanism similarly roh can react with pcl5 so oxygen lone pair can attack to phosphorus and this pcl bond will break on cl so you end up with this protonated species so then again cl minus will attack to r and this ro bond will break on o plus so we end up with alkyl halide similarly this benzyl alcohol also again can react with pbr3 giving rise to benzyl bromide and plus s3po3 so this type of mechanism we have already discussed and next is hohn's dicker dicker reaction so it is the decarboxylation of silver salt of carboxylic acid with bromine in carbon tetrachloride so silver salt of carboxylic acid is rcoag plus br2 in presence of ccl4 giving rise to rbr plus co2 plus hgbr so it follows free radical mechanism so rco minus hg plus would react with bromine so you can get this acyl hypobromide plus hgbr so the once you get this compound so it will undergo uh, homolytic cleavage so you get rco dot plus br dot then once you get this rco dot it will again lose one molecule of uh, carbon dioxide through homolytic cleavage so you generate r dot plus co2 so then this r dot can combine with br giving rise to rbr or again this r dot can take also from B br radical from this complex again regenerating rco dot and so on similarly halide exchange reaction can give rise to the another method for preparing alkyl halides so rbr plus ki giving rise to ri plus kbr 
so i minus is a good nucleophile so i minus will attack to r and this br bond r br bond will break on br so you get ri plus br minus so please subscribe to our channel chemistry live ugpg this is also available in the website www.chemistryliveugpg.com so for class 11th and 12th foundation chemistry av is the youtube channel so this is a simple step towards e-learning making life better thank you all for learning